cow sick. I mean, she's still gonna be there tonight, right? No, this, this is an emergency. There's no way I can give that speech tonight. Taylor. No, Mrs. Turing, I don't even speak well in front of the class. I mean, the mayor's gonna be there tonight. Taylor. Ray, I'm on the phone. This is an emergency. But we're about to have a way bigger emergency over here. I'll call you right back. Ray, I do not have time for this, okay? Our robotics team is supposed to be at the school meeting tonight to talk about winning the competition, but Sadie is sick. What's the emergency? There's something in the kitchen. So why don't you go in the kitchen and see what it is? But I'm not going in there. That could be anything. It could be snakes or a wild bear or a monster from another dimension. Have you been watching that new show? Ooh. Peculiar Encounters? So good. Have you seen it? I mean, we watch it like every single night before bed. I haven't slept in a week. Mm, that's probably why my grandpa doesn't want me watching that show. Okay, you guys heard that one too, right? <sighs> Careful. Bah! No! Ah! <laughs> I'm sorry. I couldn't resist. Look, the kitchen's clear. There are just some utensils that fell off the counter. Things don't just fall off the counter. Maybe someone or something knocked it over. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where are you going? Well, I have to find someone for my team to do this speech. You're leaving us here alone? You'll be fine, okay? No one's gonna come in with the storm. Mr. and Mrs. K just went out for dinner. They'll be back around eight to lock up. Just your imagination. Interdimensional monsters aren't real. Bree, can I just have some space, please? Fine. But don't say I didn't warn you when they come after you first. Just don't look them in the eye. Hello? Bree? monster in here. No, I think it's worse. Bree, I think it's a mouse. You have to catch it. What? No way. You're older. Right. And as the oldest, I say you have to catch it. Why don't you go into the kitchen and catch it? I'm not catching a mouse. Well, you're basically named after a cheese, so I mean, you're probably the best candidate. Has anyone seen my... We have a mouse again, don't we? <laughs> Taylor, hey. Can you catch it? Ew, no. Besides, I have a bigger problem. Apparently, I'm the only person on the robotics team who can give this speech tonight. Okay, seriously, what kind of mouse makes that noise? Unless it's mutating. <laughs> Let me guess. 
That happens on Peculiar Encounters. You guys have got to stop watching that show. It's just a mouse. It's not going to hurt you. I just, I don't like touching animals, okay? Especially furry animals. <laughs> Ever since the petting zoo incident of 2016. I guess it's not any sillier than me being afraid to give a speech. What's that? Well, I told Mrs. Kirby about the speech and how much I didn't want to do it, and she sent me this. It's a verse from the Bible. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not lose hope. I am the Lord your God. I will be with you everywhere you go. Joshua 1.9. Okay. I don't need courage. I'm fine. I'm not afraid of the dark or scary TV shows. Like, there's nothing wrong with admitting that you're afraid. I've been reading a lot of stories in the Bible where God helps his followers do some things that are pretty scary. Like catching rodents of unusual size. I'm not sure about that, but I know Brie is pretty scared too. We could both show her what courage from God looks like. What if I don't have courage? I think we just need to ask God. God, I really don't want to give this speech tonight. I really don't want to catch this mouse. But the Bible says that because you are God, we can be strong and courageous. So please be with us while we go do some pretty scary things and um, help Bree not be afraid of... Uh... Interdimensional monsters. Yeah, <laughs> what Blake said. Amen. Amen. Now or never. You can do this, Blake. You too. Hey. Maybe Mason is available right now. Yeah. Yeah, he can totally help me out with this. I wonder if I can access my contacts on this thing. I'm Becca. Have you ever felt afraid? Maybe of a mouse like Blake and Bree? Or maybe of speaking in front of people like Taylor? Probably not, right? I mean, I know I'm basically fearless. <laughs> what was that? Everyone feels afraid sometimes. In fact, I want to tell you about someone from Bible times who faced a super scary situation. This is David. Hello. David was the youngest and smallest in his whole family. Oh yeah. My seven brothers remind me of that all the time. Eliab and the others get to do things like fight battles while I just have to watch sheep. One day though, David's dad sent him to bring some food to his brothers, and David found himself in the middle of a battlefield. Seriously? This is a battlefield? Where is everyone? Suddenly, David heard a loud, frightening <laughs> voice. I am Goliath. I defy you, and I defy your god. It's a giant. He must be like eight feet tall. His spear is bigger than I am. But hold on. God is greater than anyone, and God is with us. Why is everyone hiding? Someone fight him! Before he knew it, David was called into the tent of the king himself. Fine. I'll fight him then. Everyone was amazed. They thought David had no chance, but everyone else was too afraid to fight Goliath. So the king tried to help David by giving him some armor. Really? This isn't gonna work. I can't even move. David had every reason to be afraid. Goliath was a huge, strong soldier, somewhere between seven and nine feet tall. He had big weapons and armor, and David had... Well, I've got my sling here. I'm pretty good at using it. Once, there was this lion, and he... Suddenly, Goliath shouted with a fearsome roar and charged at David. David's stone soared through the air and hit Goliath smack in the forehead. 
Goliath fell to the ground, defeated. This is God's battle. He did this. God gave David courage, not by taking away the scary situation, but by helping him face it. Here's something I think the story can teach us. God gives me courage. And courage doesn't look like never being afraid. Instead, it looks like stepping out, doing what's right, and following God while we're still feeling afraid. We'll find out if Blake, Bree, and Taylor can face their fears when we head back to Comics Cafe. And I better figure out what that is. See ya. Okay. Bree, are you just sleeping? Come on, get up. Come on, we gotta find that mouse. I called Mason, he didn't pick up, so what I'm thinking is that me. Bree, please tell me that that's the dog toy that you found in the park the other day. Oh! <laughs> it's climbing into the trash can. Blake, what do we do? God, please give me courage. I'm gonna try calling Mason again. Give me those gloves. What I want you to do, grab the trash can and pour it into the box. But, Blake, you hate small for animals just, just, ever since just that many... Do it. Uh-huh. Slow, 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 slow. Okay, 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 okay. Whoa! Oh, Hang on. Hang on. No. Blake, I can't believe you just yeah, did I just, that. I just did that. <laughs> I just did that. Oh, wow. I just did that. You guys aren't gonna believe. Is that what I think it is? <laughs> oh, man, you should have seen it. So, like, threw open the sliding door, and then whoosh, the biggest mouse you've ever seen ran out and started running in circles around the room. And then it, like, leaped into the trash can. And Blake was like, Step aside, Bree. I got this. And then he trapped it right in that box. Is that true, Blake? Okay, it, it, it wasn't the biggest mouse ever, but. You know, I actually called Mason for backup, but uh, then I remember what you told me. I asked God for courage. You can ask God for help to not be afraid. Yeah. Say, uh, uh, how, did, how did the speech go? You know, it, um, it wasn't that bad. <laughs> the mayor was super friendly and he wants to talk to us about how we can use robots to make the city a better place to live. Whoa. Mm -hmm. So God really does give courage. Yeah, I think so. You know, we just need to obey him and trust that he'll be with us. You know, maybe I'll ask God for help to not be so afraid of interdimensional monsters. And maybe a break from the TV show wouldn't hurt either. Why don't we uh, let this little guy roam free? I know the perfect spot. We should give it a name too, like Dustin or Barb, Will or Nancy or Bree with an E. Oh, no. <laughs> oh.